Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. We are back for yet another trucking vlog. However, this one we're picking up from where the last one ended off. So the last one was going long, so I decided to just break it up. With that being the case, again, I always try to encourage you guys to go back and watch the last video. I also try really hard though to make it so you don't actually have to in order for the video to make sense. So I'm just gonna give a quick little spiel here to try and catch you up again. You're gonna get a better catch up if you actually go watch the video, but it's also 38 minutes long. So <laughs> if you don't wanna watch it, I understand. So catching you up, uh, last video we were overweight and that made it a little bit more hectic as far as just all the stuff that had happened and getting home on time and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to do a 10 hour reset at home and I got to do that. And this video is picking up from there. So the next morning after spending the night at home, but I'm still in the middle of a load. So in this video, I go and deliver that load. And I was originally supposed to leave at like 6.30 and my delivery time was at 11 a.m. I think I put a little caption on later in the video that you'll see, but anyways, you'll see what happens from there, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. This video ends up being all over the place and even me recording an intro now later to try and fill in stuff still is kind of all over the place. I'm just going to get to the footage. Here you go. Uh, it's a little after 6.30, so we're leaving just a tiny bit later than I had planned, but we're going to get on the road right now. Obviously, we have hit some traffic. I kind of expected this, um, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, we left at about 6.45. I estimated it would take us about four hours to get there. That would get us there at 10.45. And that estimate is based on an average of 50, going 50 miles an hour. So with this traffic, obviously that's gonna bring our average down. Right now we're averaging 53 miles an hour. But um, again, I I mean, this, this traffic is fairly early on into the drive. We still have about 185 miles to go. So, I think we're going to be trying to catch back up to that average, uh, but we'll we'll have to see. So either way, for now, there's there's some traffic. It looks like we're going to be in this traffic for a fair bit of time. So I don't know. I guess we'll see how bad it actually is and how much time it adds to our trip. And hopefully, we still make it on time. <laughs> it looks like we're just about out of the heaviest parts of the traffic. It looks like we've got some light traffic for another little bit, but. We are at least out of the stop and go stuff. Brought our average speed all the way down to 32 miles an hour, so we're gonna be playing some catch up. And I also would kind of assume that we're probably gonna hit more traffic when we get to North Portland, like heading into Vancouver, but I don't know for sure. It seems like most of the traffic usually, like when I used to commute from Southern Portland to Northern Portland, it seemed like most of the traffic was going the other way. Um, so that's what we'll hope for today <laughs> because that would make it nice and easy and smooth flowing, but we will have to see. I always love crossing over this river. It looks so cool. Kind of eerie when there's like a, you know, mist above it, but it still looks really cool. We got out of traffic for a little bit and now we are back into it. So our our average speed, average speed update. We got all the way down to 30 miles an hour at one point. We're now back up to 33. However, it looks like the traffic goes on for a ways. I have a feeling we're probably gonna get down to it like an average of 25. So I have a feeling we're gonna get down to half of what we need to be at. So we're gonna be playing, definitely gonna be playing catch up, like I said. Okay, we are once again out of the traffic for now. We'll see if it stays that way. Crossing over the bridge, over the river. Sick view here. If you're wondering why I'm in the far left lane of like four lanes, it's because we're at an interchange. And so these people in these two lanes in the middle are like crossing over each other. There's a lot of switching back and forth and I wanted to just be sure I avoid that. It's not as busy right now as it is sometimes. So right now it's not, not so bad. I probably could have been in that right lane, but um, I decided to hang out in this lane for now. And then that, that third lane, uh, from where I am is gonna end, but either way, I think we'll be good. It looks like we're clear now to get back over and we're past that interchange, so we are all set. Looking at Google Maps, it looks like we're gonna hit a little bit more traffic, but 
guys. I don't think there's too much more. There's always a little bit right here, which is why I'm actually gonna get back over again, because again, the people merging on here, it usually cause a uh, disturbance. <laughs> so uh, again, it doesn't seem too bad at the moment, but if that were bad, I mean, I've seen some really close calls there from trucks and cars because of people trying to merge when they should not be. It's just not ideal. Not the ideal setup here. And again, there's another interchange up here that gets a little sketchy. So we just got to keep our eyes peeled, head on a swivel, be prepared for anything. Already been cut off a few times, of course. So... Just got to keep our eyes peeled. All right, and again, this interchange does not look as bad as they normally do, so I'm going to go ahead and try to get back over once these cars clear me. Or I clear them, I guess. Yes, truck, thank you. I know that there is a vehicle there. speed we're down to 31 miles an hour but we've got 160 miles to pick that back up GPS Google Maps is saying we're gonna get there at 1028 obviously that is assuming that I'm going the car speed limit which I am NOT so I would say we're probably gonna get there I, I, I still think we're gonna get there right about on on time maybe a little early maybe like 15 minutes early are just about to cross the border, which is the river, uh, to get into Washington. And it's a bummer that it's not a clear day because on a clear day, when you're crossing the bridge, you can look to the right and you can actually see Mount Hood like lined up with the river. It's really cool, but obviously today we are not gonna be able to see it. So that is a bit of a bummer, but it is to be expected in the Pacific Northwest as it rains here all the time. <laughs> I also hate how tight this bridge is. This bridge is so thin. But yeah, so normally you can look down that way and see uh, Mount Hood. And obviously today, we cannot. All right, and we are now officially in Washington, which means we're gonna have higher speed limits that I won't get to take advantage of because I'm governed to 61 miles an hour. So that's fun. However, our average is already going up pretty quickly. So again, we were at 31 miles per hour. Uh, that was probably like five minutes ago. Now we're at 33 miles an hour. So uh, we're looking pretty good. We're at 154 miles to go and it's just past eight. So again, just a little behind, not too far. Uh, I think we're probably about, about 10 minutes behind like keeping up with where we want to be. We have got a scale coming up shortly. I just scaled again before this morning, or I just scaled again this morning. I don't remember if I said that or not, but I scaled again this morning since I fueled in depth and got depth. And we're still looking plenty good on our steers, drives, and the tandems. I actually probably could have completely filled up with fuel. I chose not to because I didn't want to risk getting close. So I, I, we estimated that I could get like 75, 80 gallons or something like that. Um, and I only got 50. So I, I probably could have gone full, but I chose not to. So um, yeah, so that, that said, because I didn't go all the way to full, we are plenty, plenty clear on our weights. But uh, hopefully we don't get pulled into the weigh station anyway, because that will further eat away at our precious time. That sign looks like it says open. It does. So let's see. And this guy got a bypass. And I guess we did too. Sweet. Sounds good to me. This action up in front of us. They literally just turned on their lights. And I would assume we're pulling somebody over. I 
also I wanted to talk about this part of the, the stretch of road that we're on. I always think this is cool that the train tracks run in the middle of the two sides of I-5, especially when there's a train going by and like if it's going the same direction as you, you can race the train. It's kind of cool. I don't know. I'm a nerd, so I think trains are cool. So this spot is cool to me. Oh, they're working on the tracks, it looks like. Or at least taking a look at them, inspecting them in some way. Damn, somebody hit that guardrail. Good. Average mile per hour update. We have officially hit the 40 mile per hour mark. So we are closing in fast. It's only been about 20 miles. And we've upped from 33 miles per hour or whatever I said last to 40 miles per hour. So we're looking pretty solid. Looking pretty solid. I will admit, however, that I did not think about the fact that there could be traffic up near Kent. And that worries me a bit because our, our GPS, you know, like obviously I'm going slower than the, than the uh, speed limit. So the further we go and the closer we get, the more accurate that ETA is going to be. You know, it's going to bump up. Like if we started with it saying 1020 or whatever, and as we drive, it's going to get to 1021, 1022. You know, it's going to slowly bump up as it realizes that we're going slower. However, it just made a jump from like 1028 to now 1037. So that indicates that there is traffic. So hopefully it is, it is gone by the time we get there. But we'll have to keep an eye on what that ETA says and all that kind of stuff. And hope that we make it. I also guess somebody was not getting pulled over because I never saw anybody pulled over and I no longer see the police lights. So I assume it is not the case anymore. Maybe they were just responding to something. just 50 miles an hour, we would make it there exactly on time. So uh, again, we're not quite at 50 miles an hour on here yet. And this, if we get to 50 miles an hour average on our little trip thing here, that means we'll get there 15 minutes early. That was, that was what that average was for. Averaging 50 miles an hour on there means that we're gonna get there at about 1045. So again, we're looking good. Um, our ETA is still going up a little bit. We're at 1041 now. So I do think that there's probably a little bit of traffic there, but now that we're 100 miles away, um, that number is probably actually closer to our real ETA. So I think we're I think we're looking good, even though that that is worrying me a little bit. I think we're going to be fine. just happened. We are a little less than 50 miles away and we are almost to our average of 50 miles an hour. However, there is definitely traffic ahead. So this is as Google Maps is estimating we're going to get there at 1048. So again, I think it's going to be pretty tight as far as time goes, but I think that we are going to get there on time. All right, my fingers are crossed. I don't know if all of a sudden the traffic just cleared or what, but now all of a sudden Google Maps is saying that our ETA is 1043 again. So it just cut five minutes off and the number of minutes left is now green again as opposed to yellow or red like it was just a minute ago. Um, 
So again, I don't know if all of a sudden the traffic cleared or what, because it didn't, normally if it reroutes you to a different route that doesn't have traffic, it tells you that that's the case. And uh, it didn't do that. And our next thing that we're doing is still taking 18 East. So, uh, and that was, I'm pretty sure that was where the traffic was, was right at that interchange. So yeah, I don't know if all of a sudden traffic just cleared up or what exactly happened, but hopefully it is that traffic cleared up and not that it rerouted because again I, I have to stick to the routing that I am given um, so hopefully it, it is that the traffic cleared and we're gonna make it there on time with no problem at all okay since the last time there's been any footage a lot has happened and that's because uh, apparently my GoPro died and I had no idea so since the GoPro died uh, our windshield got smashed and then cracked all the way up. We did, we did end up making it on time, so that was good. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot that's gone on and I am now getting unloaded and I don't have the time really right now to, to tell you, but um, yeah, my bad luck continues, and especially, and to just add insult to injury, the GoPro stopped recording it, so. <sighs> Can't catch a break, dude. Cannot catch a break. It's ridiculous. Okay, update. We are at a Freightliner dealership, and they do not have a glass replacement person on the premises. So I have to leave the truck overnight, which means I get a hotel tonight, which is kind of sick, because that means I get Wi-Fi and can upload the videos and stuff like that. Um, but also just kind of sucks, because now I got to grab all my stuff, and um, now I got to wait for who knows how long, and I'm supposed to be home tomorrow night. So uh, we'll see what happens, but that is the current update, and uh, I'm sorry that this video ended up kind of being all over the place at the end. It was not supposed to be. It would have been very smooth flowing if my GoPro hadn't died, so yeah. Yeah. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. We are back at the truck. Uh, staying at the hotel was actually pretty sick, I will admit. The hotel was nice, you know. It had a Dairy Queen in the same parking lot, so I got Dairy Queen for lunch, and then they had like a teriyaki place across the street so I got grilled uh, teriyaki chicken and rice for dinner and that was delicious so I would say I think it was a blessing in disguise it was a nice break from the stress and everything that I've been feeling so it was just basically like a day off you know where I didn't have anything to worry about and that was pretty sweet but we are back at the truck now our glass has been replaced and I messaged my driver manager to let them know I'm back at the truck and ready to go and I guess now we just wait to see what they say so I believe it's currently about 4 p.m. And again, I'm supposed to be home tonight so that I can have my home time for the weekend. So I don't know if that's actually gonna end up happening or not. They would basically have to have a load ready for me like right now. And uh, I don't really see that being the case. So just because they, you know, they didn't know when I was gonna have the truck back. So I don't know, I I guess we'll see. Maybe they'll just have me drive back empty. I, I really doubt it. Obviously they don't, no company is gonna like you wasting money, you know, and that's, I'm not that close to home. I'm, I think 200 miles. So that is a lot of wasted money and I don't think they're gonna do that. So we might just be hanging out here tonight in the truck, but I guess we'll see. Again, I'm sorry that this video did not end up being very well put together. <laughs> I'm really, still really bummed about it because I really thought that like a, a lot of entertaining stuff had happened and I really wish, you know, you guys would have actually gotten to see it like I had recorded it, but oh well. My driver manager told me to sit tight uh, and wait for them to have a load to get me back to our headquarters. It sounds like that probably will not be until tomorrow. It is now the next morning, and that obviously means that we did have to wait overnight, but we are supposed to be getting a load at some point today that will get me home today, and then I will start my home time. I also did, since I was originally supposed to start my home time today, I instead requested that I get 
like an extra day added on to the end of my home time so I still will get the same amount of home time it just won't be on the same days which is kind of unfortunate uh, because I was supposed to be home today to celebrate my nephew's birthday um, and his first birthday and uh, I now will not be home for that so I mean I guess I'll be home at the very end I don't know I, he'll probably be asleep by the time I get back but anyways definitely a bummer to miss out on that but this is just what happens sometimes so uh, either way I really appreciate you guys for watching thank you so much at the time that I am recording this I literally just uploaded the first trucking vlog trucking vlog number zero essentially the one that didn't have any driving in it and so far it's getting good feedback so I really appreciate that again I don't know what's happened with the other videos at the point of recording this but if those ones are doing well as well I greatly appreciate it uh, I've already also noticed a few more subscribers so thank you guys so much if you are one of those new subscribers and uh, thank you if you're a returning subscriber uh, whatever the case is I really appreciate you guys watching and supporting the channel and uh, hope that you will be in this for the long haul and I'm happy to have you here so that's gonna do it for this one thank you so much for watching please make sure to like comment and subscribe and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one peace